Jimbo Fisher and Nick Saban are apparently cool, I guess. That's what Jimbo said anyway. Uh, he said, you know, have you ever been to West Virginia? Like, we, we handle these spats like this. Like, it's pretty easy. We, uh, we have no issues. So, apparently, they're all good now. Everybody's buddy-buddy. I think we're still going to be looking forward to uh, October 8th whenever Texas A&M heads over to Tuscaloosa. But the other news that came out this week about A&M has to do with Anaya Smith. He was arrested on Wednesday for unlawfully carrying a weapon, driving while intoxicated, and possession of less than two ounces of marijuana, which is basically no marijuana. Uh, Smith was scheduled to attend SEC Media Days Thursday, but no longer will do so. Uh, so he has been suspended indefinitely. We don't know exactly what that means. But if you look at Texas a and schedule, they've got somebody they can run over in week one. Week two, they got App State. Week three, they got Miami. And week four, they play Arkansas. How long are they planning on suspending this kid? That's what I want to know. Like, if I'm a Texas A&M fan, this is your leading returning receiver. You are wanting to have somebody that you can spread the field with, especially against these teams that early in the season. Otherwise, this thing could go haywire quickly. Like, if you don't have a player like this, I, I'm i just interested. I'm, I'm curious what happens with this situation because that is somebody I think that they were looking to lean on quite a bit. And this goes back to that whole transferring whatever mess where you build a roster around certain people. Yeah, yeah, this is a big one. <laughs> like, uh, you know, if they don't have him for, say, the first two games, I think you can get through App State without him. Can he get through Miami and Arkansas? Mm, that, that could be a little more tricky. Uh, but yes, everything's good with Jimbo and Nick, apparently. I guess that's what everybody wants to talk about. Is what it is. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.